And let me get to our guest this evening. I have somebody very interesting. He's an American uh, musician, songwriter. He's, he also happens to be the lead guitarist of the rock band, The Disparos. He's a very, very cool guy from LA to Mumbai. His journey has been very inspirational. And I'm going to add Daniel right here for you. So get set ready, guys, to welcome Daniel Dutch. Whoa! Daniel's just joining us. We're waiting for him to accept, and he's just going to be here any moment. Hey, what's okay? up? What's up, Daniel? Look at those Hi, tattoos. How are, you? how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How's everything? Everything's good. How was your day today? What are you drinking? I'm drinking a glass of red wine. I've had kind of an intense last few hours. How's my That's day? That's nice. All right. My day is like the same every day, but you know, it's like this. I have three children and we're all locked up and so it could be amazing <laughs> and it could be you know it varies by the minute <laughs> it could be crazy too sometimes you know yeah it could so, be crazy a lot of times yeah so i, I, I get was, it i get it i was locked it. up for you um, what do you do um, every day? i know daniel but i was just talking to all of our viewers right now but i think we've got the luxury of time so i've been doing things that i've never done like i've never cooked in my life but i've started cooking okay. I, I, there were so many books that were uh, left unread on my closet and i've just got it, got them out of the shelf and i'm reading them and also i happen to collaborate and chat with some cool people like you so oh, well, it's a good well, luck well, very nice yeah you look pretty right. cool. Guys, let me tell you that Daniel is, he happens to be the lead guitarist of a pretty cool rock band called The Disparos. This guy has performed globally from LA to Mumbai. His journey has been nothing short of very, very exciting. He performed at a Kasoli Rhythm Blues Festival in 2015. That was his first gig in India. And today is going to be his NS gig in India because I'm going to make him do something for us. Yeah, Daniel? Right, so will you, would, you, would you like to play your favorite song for us? All of our My viewers say... Song? I don't know that I have any favorite songs, but I'm going to sing something for you guys. This will be uh, for everybody here. This is... Uh, first of all, I need to know, what's, what's my time duration here? Give me Daniel, idea. we're in lockdown. You're here. We're in quarantine. We've got all the time in the world. Love. So okay, just cool. go for it. All right. This is something old. It's called Street Fight. <laughs> go for it. Be you. Can 
can be me. I love it, Daniel. Thank you so much. Hey, thank uh, you I'm going to read a couple of comments for you from your fans. They say, Shweta says, nice music. Shweta is my sweetheart. Thank you, Shweta, for being here with us. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Ram says, what is the name of this song? It's called Got To Be You, right? It's called, it's called Street Fight. Sorry, it's called Street Fight, guys. Do YouTube it. Amazing moves. I know what you do, right? He's a good singer and a be better guitarist. Okay, so so Daniel, another question to you. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that um, a lot of us are curious to know about the Disparos. And you formed yeah. this band back in 2010, if I'm right. Yes, correct. Um, tell me about how the journey has been like. The journey has been all over the place. We've played all over the place. They're great bunch of musicians, uh, one from Las Vegas, two others from Los Angeles, myself mm -hmm. from New York, and then Los Angeles, and then <coughs> India. And because now we're spread all over the place, generally, when I'm not in forced lockdown, I would travel to Los Angeles, we do um, a bunch of rehearsals, and then we go play a bunch of shows. And then once a year, we will record, or a year and a half, we record a full-length album. The journey's been great. I still believe in, like, the method of a functioning band where everyone is creative, everyone writes together, puts their input. That's sort of a lost art these days. Most people, it's very easy. They just, you know, they think solo artists and then they hire musicians and it's what they say goes. And it doesn't make it any easier or less easier, but it makes it less frustrating because the solo artist just says, okay, look, this is what I like. And this is what I want to do. When you put four grown men in a room together and tell them to be creative together, it's like this half the time. It's like your idea sucks. My idea is great. But by the <laughs> end of it, if you can make through, you have wonderful, wonderful music. So. But I think I think that's the beauty of having a band, right? Yeah. Um, and for Boston, yeah. A band. Yeah, well. that's that's pretty cool. I'm glad you jam together and you're being creative. Um, no. How do you how do you stay in touch with your music during quarantine? A and B. Our friend Chetanya is here, uh, Daniel, and okay. Chetu asks you. Daniel, how many tattoos do you have out there? <laughs> I don't know. One, one big one, I guess. <laughs> you lost count, right? You lost yeah, count. one big huge. one. huge. <laughs> yeah. And but they, they look pretty cool. Thank you, thank you. What do I do during quarantine? I play music every single day. So um, I use this time to uh, write and just figure out. I don't treat it any different than when I'm not in quarantine. I, I make sure that I rehearse and play every single day and write every day. It's just something that's, that needs to happen. For me to be normal, semi-normal. All right. Okay. Okay. I understand. Yeah. So, uh, Daniel, quickly, somebody asked you, Suharsha, what's your most favorite tattoo on your body? Can you show us? Do you have a favorite, Daniel? Uh, uh, yeah, probably. I don't know. I got, I, where are they? I have my kids' names here, so I probably would. Oh, that's your I, kids' names, huh? Yeah. So, you know, I guess that probably means the Beautiful. most. Beautiful. The rest don't mean anything anymore, you know. It's a long time ago long long time ago <laughs> that's interesting yeah. buddy that's interesting my next question quickly is um, um how was it like performing for the first time in india when you performed at the kasoli rhythm blues festival what what was the experience like so i performed a few solo gigs in india already at that point but this was the first time that i got the band to come over from the u.s and from the know, u.s okay yeah and they had never been to india period forget about going to you know such a beautiful place uh, you know, up north where we performed, but because they hadn't been in India, I just wanted to see their reaction and their whole take on everything because, you know, first time for anybody is like a little trippy. So they all got food poisoning. They all were, <laughs> you know, typical, typical tourists. They were roughing it. And it's really cold up there in Kasuli. And they were freezing. They didn't bring any of the correct, you know, clothes to wear. And uh, and then when we got there, it was I couldn't believe how many people make that trek to get to that festival in Kasuli. It was packed. There was thousands of people there. It was so amazing. And then probably about eighty percent into our set, it just started pouring rain. And you know, no one's covered, of course. And everyone stays and just has a great time either way. The vibe is so good. And the greatest thing for me is just seeing the look on the rest of the guys' faces and the band, <laughs> they're like, this is such a crazy event. It's so amazing. The energy was amazing. And, you know, they were all sick five times, which I loved. <laughs> it's so touristy, right? Yes. And I love it. <laughs>
Cool. Okay. So that is one of one of your fans. Sunil says, "Can you please play Knock Knock Heaven's Door for us?" Oh. And then Weir Girl says, "Where is a uh, Sunny Ma'am, Daniel Sir? Huge and big fan of both of you." Somebody asks you, Arya Sumu, Sushma, who's a darling, asks you, "What is your favorite Indian food, Daniel?" Okay. Um, we'll take one of those at a time. Number one, I can play Knock on Heaven's Door. I actually grew up as a huge, huge Bob Dylan fan. Uh, one of my all-time favorite artists. Uh, so definitely, it'd be an honor to play. That's his. Most people think of it as somebody else's song. I think, though, because they hear different versions of it. But it is Bob Dylan. Um, and my favorite Indian food is I would probably have to say uh, chicken tikka because I oh. love, you know. Sort of, or butter chicken, you know. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And what was the third question? Uh, the third question was uh, 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 no, it was not a question. It was just that we both love, we love you and Sunny oh. Man. So. Oh, and you wanted to know where Sunny was? Well, because I'm yeah. not home, she's obviously at home with me. <laughs> Probably against her will. She could be against her will. She, I could be <laughs> crazy. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, I have another question for you, Daniel, from Pranav Bansal. As you're born and brought up in another country, which is totally different from India, how did you initially manage it? How did you take this huge decision of moving to India? I think that's a beautiful question. I was going to ask you that, but would you like to answer that? I feel like most people ask me that when they first meet me, and you know, I'm here nine years now. But everyone always says the same thing. They're like, wow, how did you adapt or just, you know, sort of try to fit in or maybe I don't fit in. I don't know. But coming to India is by far um, one of, I think I've traveled to a lot of countries. It is one of the strangest places to try to assimilate. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, looking like this or just not have been in India before. It is such a trip. And once you sort of figure out that, you know, India has its own way of doing everything. Like oh, yeah. you can go to Europe, you can go to Europe, and you can see similarities to the West and certain things they've adopted, or the U.S. has adopted from Europe, and you kind of say, okay, this is a variation of this. There is nothing that India has adopted from the world. I feel like everything is unique to India, and that is the biggest thing. Once you kind of get your brain to go, okay. I'm not going to change the way things are done here, so I better adapt to the way things are done here, is the moment that you sort of feel peace with everything and go, you know what? If it takes 50 people to do this, then okay, it takes 50 people to do this one thing. If it takes 500 documents to do this one thing, I guess that's the way it has to be done. And you sort of get used to the system, and then after so many years, you go back to the West, and you know what? You sort of love the Indian system. It's really weird you start to go, wow, it was actually made a lot more sense there, even though you feel like it, the process could be shortened for everything. You just, it's like a magnet. You always get drawn back to India. It's very strange. I can't even figure out what it is. I think it's just- Daniel, everything. I'm touched. I'm touched. Oh. And all, all of us Indians are touched. Everybody's going gaga over you no. out there. It's I can really read remarkable. the comments. It's really um, 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 I've always wanted to tell you, tell you and Sunny that that I've never heard you guys complain about a single thing Indian, and you both have, um, you both are a lot more Indian than a lot of Indians that I know, and oh, uh, wow. and cheers, <laughs> cheers to you for that. But well, on that note, she I is have. Daniel, we have a brilliant um, a musician who's joined us. His name is Valentine Shipley. Very cool guy. Uh, okay. He says, how was your trip playing at the Soli Rhythm and Blues Fest? Val, he already answered that. It was amazing. Okay. It was amazing. Yes. Thank you, Val, for joining us. We love you. So Harsha asks, what's your biggest motivation? My biggest motivation? Um, I would say that when I'm unmotivated, mm -hmm. I pretty much can ask Sunny opinion or advice and she seems to really have her shit sorted very fast and direct. And it gives mm -hmm. me inspiration to go, okay, I get it. Like, I can do this. I can figure this out. Because she really puts it in like, okay, this is what needs to be done. This is what we need to do. This is going to be fine. Let's figure this out. A, B, C, D. So I think I take a lot of inspiration from her. Well, that's, that's beautiful. Okay. 
So another question. I'm sorry, I'm bombarding you with questions, but I have many, no, many over here. Yeah. Our uh, another of our friend asks us, "Hey, what's your favorite place place in Mumbai? Where do you guys go to chill, visit with your kids over the weekend? Tell us." Uh, we go to Soho House a lot because. Oh, I love Soho House. Not, oh, yeah, because... not that it's private wise. Uh, you know, I mean, there's plenty of people, but that it's private in terms of that she's not at. Um, I don't know if she can sort of let her guard down a little more. Right. When, when, go to more public places you know I, it's it's harder for her to go around for me i just blend right in i'm like another indian yeah i get it i get it okay okay um hats off to you daniel and sunny says pranav bansal um let me see who's your favorite lead vocalist daniel official yamit asks us oh man i would probably have to say Which would be a really strange one, but throughout life, I would probably say either, and these are two ends of the spectrum. I would probably say uh -huh. someone from writing and singing Bob Dylan or Jerry Garcia, all the way to a Freddie Mercury. So sort of all well, over. I'm a big Freddie Mercury fan. No. All right. Um, Okay, so Daniel, another question from me to you. Actually, this is not a question. I was wondering if you could give us a little more taste of the Disparos and let our viewers, there are hundreds of them, thousands of them watching us right now, maybe give them a taste of the Disparos, maybe maybe play one of your tracks for us. All right, I'm going to play one more song. Tracks for us. All right, guys, Daniel's playing for us. Gear up. Believe in me. <laughs> just one thing here so this all makes sense and sounds all right because you know who knows what this really sounds like what does the sound sound like over there okay it sounds brilliant it awesome. sounds perfect <laughs> Thank you. 
So fine you see, so roses and dreams. Hide away with me, come away with me. So fine you see, roses and dreams. Break out with me, come away with me. So fine you see, crazy you see. Don't walk away. <laughs> it was brilliant, uh, Daniel. Um, Thank you. Everybody is loving um, um, your your music. Sidhan says you sing well, buddy. Um, thanks, 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 everybody. And okay, let me see if we have any more questions. Otherwise, I'm going to hey, Amar, what's up, my homie? Thank you for joining in. We want to meet Sunny, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Give her a call. <laughs> All right, Jad Stingra asks you, uh, Daniel, what's your daily workout plan like? Uh, my daily workout is uh, it's split up into two. I do mm -hmm. sort of light and lean weights uh, every morning at home. Mm -hmm. it, I pick one body part, and I do uh, also ten or fifteen minute abs three times a week, and then some other time in the day I do cardio outside in my parking garage area. Okay, okay. So you run, or you, or you. Okay. Well, I push. I push strollers. You push. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Because kids need to be outside, so I take them in the parking garage, and we do like fifty million loops. So I try to average between three to four miles a day in the parking garage. Insane, right? That's how you go insane. That's hardcore, buddy. I, I, I can manage like two kg weights. Anyway, okay. Um. I'm going to do something fun with you over here, Daniel. I'm going to get okay. into a quick uh, fireside chat with you. I'll ask you some quick questions and you don't have time to answer more than 10 seconds. So here you go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go for it. Uh, all right. Um, LA or Mumbai? Mumbai. What's on your pizza? What do you like on your pizza? Just extra cheese, nothing else. Extra cheese. Okay. Who's your dream collaboration? Tell us the artist that's your dream collaboration. Oh, probably Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan, of course. Grand, Grand, Legend. Grand, but Bob Dylan. Of course. What's your current favorite song, Bollywood or Hollywood? Um, I don't consider music to be genre based by Hollywood or Bollywood. So the artist, the artist will definitely is going to be a U.S. artist. So uh, right now I'm listening to a lot of Rob Thomas. Um, mm -hmm. from so there's a bunch of songs I like, but when I'm outside, for some reason, I'm really into a lot of Bob Marley right now. So, you know, so neither Hollywood or Bollywood, Jamaican. All right. All right. Um, I should have reframed my question. Your favorite artist, I'll take it as uh, Bob Marley for Today, now that you're listening this to. This week, it's Bob Marley. All right. Um, what are you binge watching these days? Tell us. What do you watch on Netflix? Just finished uh, Jack Ryan two seasons, and I am on the last season of Ozark. I think I got two episodes left, and it is as soon as we're done talking, I'm going to finish Ozark because it's going to fucking blow my mind. It's getting so. <laughs> All right, I, I got to watch that. Um, I'm I'm catching up on Breaking Bad now, like now. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm way way um, um well, past my schedule. Time. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Oh, my next question. Who do you consider your idol or your mentor? Who do you look up to? Um, my parents in life. I don't like Sweet. kind of an idol. I'm not into that. You know, everybody is. I always say if somebody wasn't really great, at, let's say a musician, if they really didn't know how to play music, they'd just be pumping gas at a petrol station. I mean, they're really, everybody's all the same, you know? We're all the same. Right. Somebody just um, works so harder to be better at what their craft is. There's no, no different. True that. True that. Um, uh, 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 music or acting? What's your, I mean, music. if you I had to act. pick one? I don't act. I hate acting. All right, you hate acting. All right. Okay, so that's our uh, quick fireside chat with Daniel. Right. A lovely session, Team 7 Entertainment and Sonam. Thank you. Please call Sunny, ma'am. I've got like 1,000 comments of those thoughts. So, any plan to have Indian citizenship? I already okay. have, I have That's another. sweet, buddy. He already has it. Yep. What's your poison, Daniel, sir? What do you like to drink? Red wine. Red wine it is, guys. Yep. All right. Daniel is total husband material. The way he loves Sunny is unbelievable. That's sweet, right? Oh, thanks. All right. Let me, let me read out some more comments for you, Daniel. All right. Everybody is just saying hi, hi, hi. Sonam, are you wearing contact lenses? No, these are real. <laughs> all right um Great. daniel quickly quickly wrapping this up um any future uh projects um any music that you're making that you'd like to share with us quickly non-stop new music all the time uh other things i work on i own a cosmetic company called starstruck i oh uh, really oh yes we own a production house uh i own a um place called kids social house uh, so, you know, I have lots of different businesses, different ventures. All of them are like children to me. And so there's always new stuff going on. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us at uh, 7 for Entertainment. Having... Thank you for your time, guys. That's Daniel Weber for you. Entrepreneur, musician, songwriter, film producer, husband, father, and so much more. Thank you, Thank Daniel, you. for being here with us. It's